AutoView ViewLink for SharePoint 2003 is currently available. We will now demonstrate the key features of this integration. The ViewLink installs a View Using AutoView menu option within SharePoint's Document Menu Options. This action will open any supported document type with AutoView's web-based viewer. SharePoint has built-in versioning capabilities for tracking document histories. AutoView understands this structure and provides the ability to automatically compare designs with previous versions. The 2D Visual Compare makes it easy for people to see what the changes are from one revision to the next. All versions of this document will automatically be listed in this drop-down menu. Note that the changes are color-coded to provide a quick visual reference in the third window. Any zooming that occurs in one window will be reflected in all three windows. AutoView never alters the native documents, but does provide powerful markup tools to capture comments and annotations. These comments are then stored directly back into SharePoint by the view link. For multi-party collaboration, it is a simple matter to overlay multiple markups, consolidate them, and promote them to new versions of the native document. I am now adding a comment to this markup file for one of my engineers to review. Now I will save this markup and let the view link take care of checking this back into SharePoint. A red light bulb at the bottom of the screen indicates that there are markups associated with this file. AutoView has the ability to read the native properties contained within a file. The view link adds a third DMS specific tab which reads the metadata information that is stored within SharePoint. This is actually useful when you want to in integrate metadata information into your printouts using your headers and footers and watermark options. Attributes preceded by a percent %x is actually metadata brought in from the SharePoint repository. By hitting print preview, if you look at the headers and footers, you will notice that the attributes have been applied successfully. If there is a need to generate a TIFF rendition of this CAD document, we can do that using AutoView's convert feature. By checking the rendition box, this ensures that the rendition will get checked back into SharePoint automatically by the view link. The integration with SharePoint works in both directions, allowing users to reach back into SharePoint from within the AutoView window to access more documents. I will now use the SharePoint Browse feature to look for that TIFF rendition that I just created and launch this file into AutoView. As you can clearly see, SharePoint's out-of-the-box portal services, combined with AutoView for SharePoint, provide an effective platform for native document collaboration.